Do you hate ads? I hate ads. You know what I like? Patreon.com slash Inkdependence. It keeps this channel ad-free. Hello folks, welcome to Ink Dependence. I'm Mike. Today we have the Lamy All-Star White Silver. This is the limited edition for this year, 2022, from Lamy. Let me get this out of here. I actually, I want to talk a minute for a second about the Lamy packaging. I think this is pretty good packaging. I like that I can just open up the ends, fold this thing flat, and uh, throw it in a box for safekeeping because I don't like having a huge amount of boxes around, and yet I do. We gotta have our, uh, our Lamy warranty policy right there, put it in there. The uh, pens come on this little cardboard thing which sort of holds it diagonally in this box for protection. Good stuff. Again, easy packaging. Love that from Lamy. Here is the white silver. Uh, you can see it's it's actually so silver it's kind of hard to show on camera because all the light reflects off of this thing. It is just very bright. You can see when I get the right angle that it has Lamy engraved on the barrel. You have a little hole here through which you can see your ink levels, etc. Now when you get this new it will also have this ring little cardboard ring here between the section and the barrel. It says remove, do that, uh, throw that aside. You can take out the cartridge. I mean, you can use these cartridges. They are totally fine, but I tend to just toss them uh, in a drawer because I don't usually use the Lamy cartridge. Sorry, Lamy cartridge. Uh, I usually use a converter. This converter does not come with the pen. It almost never does. Uh, sometimes you'll find a Lamy with a converter, but not always. But um, these things fit uh, almost all the Lamy pens, so they're good to have around, just uh, keep a few in a, in a drawer. This one is a medium nib. You can see there, this is the classic all-star Lamy nib for the, uh, the all-star and also the Safari. Uh, Safari, of course, is one of the classic entry-level fountain pens for people who are starting to get serious into fountain pens. It is a plastic body. This one, you can see, has that matte finish. This is the Terracotta from, I guess, a couple of years ago now. The All-Star, on the other hand, is a shiny aluminum chassis, and that is pretty much the only difference between these pens. Is This one is just a, a little bit heavier because it's aluminum, and this one is very light on account of its plasticness. So, uh, <laughs> people will have a preference one way or the other. I think both are great. I'm usually team All-Star, but I do love the Safari as well. One thing to notice about the All-Star is that it does have a metal body, and so it is going to, uh, it will ding if you hit it hard enough with some other stuff. You can scratch the finish. I've seen that happen before. I think I have a couple of pens with a scratch in them maybe, but I don't think I've picked up any dings. I generally tend to keep these you know, I hold them, I carry them as a fountain pen and I don't just chuck them in the bottom of my bag or purse or whatever. So they seem to be pretty, uh, pretty safe in the bags. Uh, this one is, as I said, the white silver, all one word, white silver. Don't look for white silver because you just won't find that. You'll have to get, you have to smash the words together. And I was a little bit dubious about this special edition. Not as dubious as some other folks who said this one just looks boring. It's a low effort color or something like that. I I thought it looked pretty cool. I, um, I like a silver chromey pen, and so I was willing to roll the dice, especially since I found this one on sale. The regular price for these from most retailers is going to be about $37 and change, which is not super cheap, but it's not super expensive either. It's kind of in the middle of that entry range, I suppose, and uh, I got it on sale from I forget where uh, a few weeks ago for, I want to say, uh, 20 and 20 something, 20-ish, and for that price, no brainer, definitely needed to try it out. And the first thing that struck me is that this is a very, very silver pen. It is, it is, it's, let's look at it next to a bunch of other silvery pens. I have in some cases uh, described it as pearlescent, but I don't think that's really the case. It's just extremely reflective. I don't see any, I don't see any flex. There's no, it's just reflecting silver, you know? So I don't think it's really pearlescent. Now here it is amongst and among some very silvery pens. We have the Pininfarina PF1 here, which is sort of a matte, uh, matte silver. Then we have the Diplomat. This is the Diplomat Arrow in the factory finish, which is just raw aluminum without being uh, coated. Then we have the Lamy silver, uh, white silver right here. This is a Schaefer Legacy that is all chromed out. And then lastly, the Tasha Pinnacle, which is sort of a, 
I don't know. It's sort of a grayish silver metallic finish on this one. Uh, and you, as you can see, the white silver is different to all of these. I guess it's close, closest to this raw aluminum one, but it's not like the chrome one. It's not like uh, this matte sort of shiny matte finish. It's its own thing, the white silver, and that's very cool. I, I dig that. You can find the Lamy white silver in all three modes of pen. You have the fountain pen, you have the... Uh, uh, the ballpoint. This is actually the, what is this one? Charged, charged lime or something like that, uh, which I think is a pretty cool looking pen. And I like the, I like the ballpoint. It has the same aluminum barrel and the same sort of limited edition color as the rest. You can see through the section to see your that that interesting uh, uh, refill there. Uh, and this knock is this knock is pretty, it's pretty good. I like this thing. Any hoozle. Uh, you can also get it in a rollerball, which looks exactly the same as the fountain pen. Although, I think maybe the barrel has some slight differences. I've actually never gotten a Lamy rollerball. I just, I never have. Uh, I don't know. I've just always skipped it. So, I, I don't have one to show you. But, the white silver looks like this. And, of course, functions just like all your other uh, Lamy pens will, which is very well. So, check this one out. If this is your, uh, if this is your finish... Pick one up this year. These are not limited in terms of number, really. They don't usually run out uh, very quickly, but it is limited to this year, and then they'll stop producing them. So, so you never know. So if you like this one, you know, check it out. Wait for a sale or, you know, whatever, but uh, that's what it looks like. Pretty cool, eh? All right, I will see you all in the next video. Peace out.